Let us see about UGT transistor thyristor, not transistor thyristor diac and triac. This is first one is UGT. A unijunction transistor is an electronic semiconductor device that has only one junction. The UGT has three terminals, an emitter and two bases, B1 and B2. The base is formed by lightly doped N type of bar of silicon and two omnic contacts B1 and B2 are attached at this ends. And here the emitter is of P type and it is heavily doped. The resistance between B1 and B2 when the emitter is open circuit is called the inter bias resistance. Since the device has a one PN junction and three leads and it is commonly you called UJT. Here this is the um, circuit diagram how it is connected for the operation. Well we have seen this the device has normally B2 is positive with respect to B1 and also if the voltage VBE is applied between B2 and B1 with the emitter open a voltage gradient is established along the N type bar and the voltage V1 between emitter and B1 establishes a reverse bias of PN junction and the emitter current is cut off. Small leak Leakage current flows from B2 to emitter and if the positive voltage is applied at PE, the APN junction remains reverse bias as long as the input is less than V1 and here the voltage exceeds V1 and the PN junction BTB become forward bias and here the holes are injected from P type through B1 and the device is on state and second if the negative pulse is applied to uh, E then the junk PN junction is reverse bias and the emitter pay current is cut off and the device is in off stage. Here this is the VI characteristics of this uh, UJT and here well we are seeing this VI characteristics here the cut off region that is VE increases from zero and the slight leakage current flows from terminal B2 to the emitter and here the, and also the um, VE forward IE becomes to flow increasing until the peak voltage VP and current IP are reached at point P. After the peak point P an attempt to increase VE is followed by a sudden increase in emitter current IE with a uh, corresponding decrease in VE and this is a negative resistance portion of the curve becomes in IE and VE decreases that's about the UJT. Now we can see the silicon control rectifier that is SCR. There are three terminals that is anode um, P type that is cathode N type and gate is um, P type near the cathode and three junctions that is four, four terminals four layers connect power such that the power anode is positive with respect to the cathode so no current will flow and the silicon control rectifier it is a semi conductor device that acts as the true electronic switches it can change alternating current and at the same time can control the amount of power led to the load and SCR combines the future of a rectifier and a transistor and here while we are seeing the construction here this is the and this is the PN that is huge um, SCR constructions when a PA junction is added to a PN transistor then the resulting 3 PN junction is said to be the um, SCR and here there are three terminals there is one from the outer P type and one from the um, P type material and called the anode and here the second from the outer N type material is called the cathode and the third from the base of the transistor called gate therefore the gate is here is a solid state equivalent um, time thermistor that is the the, the that is the, um, the gate electro the gate anode and the cathode of SCR correspond to the grid plate and the cathode of the resistor um, um, SCR is called the thyristor and here well, we are moving on to the um, other part that is the working principle. First one is when for three condition, first condition, that is sorry, under two condition, first condition when gate is open. Here, when no voltage is applied to the gate, J2 is reverse bias with J1 and J3 are forward bias. And J1 and J3 is just in NPN transistor with the base open and no current flows through the load RL and LCSCR is cut off. And here the applied voltage is gradually increased, a stage is reached when bar B reverse bias junction J2 breakdown and the CR now uh, connect uh, heavily and is said to be the in the on state and the applied voltage at which SCR connects um, conducts heavily without gate voltage is called the breakover voltage and second one is 
when the gate pi is positive with respect to the cathode here the scr can be made to connect heavily to at low uh, smaller applied voltage by applying a small positive potential to the gate and j3 is forward bias and j2 is reverse bias and the electron from n type material start moving across j3 towards the left pole from the p type materials and also electron from j3 are attracted across the junction j2 and gate current starts flowing as soon as the gate current flows the anode the current increases and the anode current the anode current in turn make more electrons available at j2 breakdown and you see scr starts conducting heavily therefore the gate losses all control if the gate voltage is removed anode, anode current does not decreases at all the only way to stop conduction is to reduce the applied voltage to zero and also um, in, while we are seeing this va current via current this is the va current six so under forward bias condition when anode is uh, positive with respect to cathode and the curve became V and I is not said to be the forward characteristics. That is O A B E C. It is the forward characteristics of the SCR at I G equal to zero. And here the SCR starts conducting on the voltage across the SCR suddenly drops and most of the supply voltage appears across is R. And under reverse bias condition, when the anode is negative well, with respect to the cathode, the current between the V I is called called as the reverse characteristics. Reverse voltage. can across the scr when it is operated with the ac supply reverse voltage and is ning and this ningris anode current remains small avalanche breakdown occurs and is starts conducting heavily and this to be the reverse breakdown voltage next one is diac while we are seeing this diac it is a two terminal three layered bidirectional device which can be switched from its off state for either polarity of other voltages and while we are seeing the construction The, the diode can be constructed in either NPN or NPNP form, and here the two leads are connected to P-type of S of silicon uh, separated by an N N region. The result is that the region of diode is similar to that of to that of the transistor difference, and there is no terminal attached to the base layer. The three regions are nearly identical in size, and the doping concentration is identical to give the device uh, symmetrical properties. and while we are seeing this operation when a positive or negative voltage is applied across the terminal or diac only a small leakage current will flow through the device as the applied voltage increases and the leakage current will control to flow until the voltage reaches break over and at this point avalanche breakdown of the reverse bias condition occurs and the device exhibit negative resistance and the current through the device increases when the when the decreasing values of applied voltage and the voltage across the device then the drops to break break back voltages here then we can see the break the vi current six while we are seeing this vi current six here for applied voltage positive voltage uh, less than plus vbo and negative applied voltage the minus the vbo then a negative small, a small leakage current flows through the device under such condition the diode blocks flow of current and behaves as an open circuit and the voltage plus vbo and minus vbo are the breakdown voltages and usually have ranges from 30 to 50 volt when a positive or negative applied voltage is equal or to greater than the breakdown voltage diac begins to conduct and voltage drop across it becomes a few voltage conduction then continues until the device current drops below is holding current break holding current break over voltage and holding current values are identical for the forward and reverse bar region of operation next one is triac while we are seeing this triac the triacs are three terminal device that are used to law switching large ac currents with a small triggering signal triacs are commonly used in dinner switches motor speed control circuits and equipments that automatically controls main power equipments including remote control and the triac mm, uh, there are three terminal tri terminals and the triac are main terminal t1 and main terminal t2 and gate to turn on to the triac the three need the, there needs to be a small current um, igt flowing through the gate and this circuit uh, this current will flow Through, from when the voltages between G and M T one is at least V G T, and the signal that turns onto the triac is called the 
figure in signal and once the triac is turned on it will be stay on even if there is no gate current until the current flowing between the mt1 and mt2 fall below the folding current and while we are seeing the operation when the switch s is open there will be no gate current and triac is cut off even when no current the triac can be turned on providing the supply voltage is becomes equal to the break over voltage when switch s is closed the circuit the gate so current starts flowing into the gate circuit break over voltage of triac can be varied by making proper current flow and triac starts to conduct via whether mt2 is positive or negative with respect to mt1 if the terminal mt1 is positive with respect to mt2 the triac is one on and the conventional current will flow from mt2 to mt1 and when second case if the terminal mt2 is negative with respect to mt1 the so triac is again switch on and the conventional current will flow from mt1 to mt2 and while we are seeing this vi current is this is a vi current is the first and the third quadrant are essentially identical to scr in the first quadrant and the triac can be operated with either their positive and negative gate current control voltages but in normally operation usually usually the gate voltage is positive in quadrant 1 and um, negative in quadrant the supply voltage at which the triac is on depends upon the gate work current the greater gate current and smaller supply voltage at which the triac is turned on and it this also permits the triac to control ac power into a load from zero to full power in a smooth and continuous manner with no loss in the control device thank you